Peter Chang here, and I have a Proxon 37080 thermal foam cutter. And a couple of guys on my local track have gone into RC airplanes, and they've actually scratch built some very beautiful foam based airplanes. And I was like, oh my god, like, how do you guys cut foam? This looks so beautiful. You know, like, what do you guys use? What tool is it? And and they were like, well, you know, it's 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 super easy. You just get a a Proxon thermal foam cutter on Amazon, and pretty much you start you you know one or two days later you're an expert on cutting foam. And I was like, all right, this is awesome. I got to get one. And pretty much it's really cool. It has a nice two year warranty. Um, it has a lot of patents based in Germany, so I'm gonna assume that Proxon is German based, or they have some divisions based in Germany. So let's go ahead and crack this thermal foam cutter open and what I'm seeing right now is like there's no uh, foam in here so it's kind of diabolical they know me too well like if, like if they had foam in the packaging like I would I would cut the packaging and you know start making some cuts and not be able to put my Proxon thermal foam cutter back into storage so let's check it out on the back here is a T brace or an angled bracket brace that that I'm gonna assume is gonna be holding in the the wire cutter. We have a angular ruler bracket there, and then we have an extension cord, and we have a mystery red cable that's dangling. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this this brace here, and I'm assuming I'm installing it the correct way because it looks like everything is keyed that it, everything is only gonna fit in one way. So they know that I'm a dummy and it's dummy proof for me then by logical deduction I'm gonna assume that this red wire has to go here because it's gonna complete the uh, thermal foam circuit so it has to heat up the foam enough so that it could actually cut it then I'm gonna go ahead and start threading the the very thin metal wire through here and and this is actually kinda of difficult it's uh it's requiring some patience to actually put this in and I did read the instructions like once you do thread this through here uh, you actually use a clamp on the side the uh, the knob is actually the clamp to keep the wire in place so I am having a little trouble threading this through here um, it might be easier to tilt it on the side and thread it through so now I have the wire threaded through and I am making my very first cuts with foam this is so cool. It's cutting foam like a butter knife through butter, basically. And it, it is so much fun. It's like I have a foam Ginsu knife. It slices, it dices, it cuts. And I really wish you guys could see this uh, foam surface, the, the way it's cutting. It's, it kind of melts the foam, buttery smooth, and keeps everything nice and intact. This is actually a lot of fun. I never had so much fun cutting stuff and let me uh, grab this end here wow I'm making like little foam cubes they look like little foam sugar cubes it's kinda fun but anyways I highly recommend you get one thanks for watching and remember everything matters